Hello, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. If you are new here, my name is Alyssa and I create faith based lifestyle content. And I've been saying that I know people are probably like, what do you mean faith based? I'm just acknowledging that I'm a woman of the Lord. I talk about the Lord. You will hear about the Lord as you also spend time with me learning about my life. So that is what I mean by that. Um, so anyways, guys, welcome back to another vlog, y'all. I just posted my last vlog today and I just have to give y'all a quick update because I've been watching that content. Part of me was a little like disappointed at how much venting I was doing, but part of me also was very glad because as soon as I finished recording that content, funny enough y'all, I met a video editor, a photographer, a guru, a queen at the Cobra Girl event and she ended up posting some rates and some information on Instagram. I reached out to her and I was like, hey, would you be interested in like editing a couple YouTube videos? <laughs> um, and long story short, y'all, she edited the last vlog that you saw. So all of those cool pop-ups, scripture coming up on the screen, YouTube pop-ups, subscribe, all the, all the beautiful things that y'all saw in the last vlog and that you will likely see in this vlog are all done by her and I'm just so grateful because I can focus on the creation part and not have to worry so much about the editing part which means more videos are coming. So today is Friday March 15th and I'm not gonna cry right now but please know I will probably cry at some point during this video. Let me do my makeup and talk to y'all because that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, so I'm about to tell y'all why I'm doing my makeup. If you watched the last vlog, then you know that I was sharing that my mother is turning 50 and today is her 50th birthday. So what you guys did not know and what she did not know is I have been planning a surprise birthday party for my mom um, for a little bit over two months and my family has really come together to help me pull this off for her. The party is not tonight, the party is tomorrow night, but we're going to go listen to my live music at this place called Phil and Derek's tonight for my mom. And I am just so excited, y'all. She's gonna be so surprised. So this vlog is pretty much going to be a weekend in my life. We're gonna get dressed, go listen to live music, celebrate mom's birthday or kick off the celebration. Tomorrow will be all about the surprise party, surprising her. I'm gonna take you guys with me to do that. And then following that, we're going to go to brunch with Alicia and Jay. And that's pretty much how I'm gonna close out the vlog. So that's what you're going to see in this video. I'm also happy to let y'all know that my hair is done and I'm doing my makeup right now and it's way before it's time for me to go. But I'm filming my Q&A. So my goal is to have this vlog edited and to have a Q&A edited for you guys as well. And then go ahead and send that over to my girl and we will have two more videos ready to go out in the month of March. So I'm just so excited y'all. Like I feel like one of the things that is going to help me grow in multiple areas of my life is definitely outsourcing, asking for help, and realizing like sometimes I'm like god there's no way you want me to do all of this like how do you expect me to do all of this and I've always known that he's invited me to partner with him but I'm also learning the power of partnering with other people and leaning on the expertise and the skill sets that God has given them and working together to have mutually beneficial partnerships so I'm going in with my milk grip hydro primer love this primer and then I'm also going to use their grip set and refresh spray so i'm gonna spray this down before i get ready to start my makeup we talked about this in the last vlog but we did get our micro shading touch-up appointment so i don't have to do too much to the brows but i do have to do just a little bit to kind of get them where i need them to be all right y'all so i'm going in with this nyx fill and fluff eyebrow brush but what i'm pretty much going to do is probably montage you guys out while we do our makeup because i'm really trying to not sit in blabber for too long not that i don't want to talk y'all y'all know i y'all know i like to talk that's the problem but i'm just trying to make sure when i do talk directly to the camera that you guys are like getting value and not just listening to me ramble <laughs> um i did want to say before i switch over to the montage out and just doing my makeup with you guys y'all ask some really good questions so i actually pulled the questions from when i asked you guys about a q a months ago but i still have the screenshots of what you guys asked 
So those are the questions that I'm going to use in the video that I'm about to film. And you guys ask some really good questions. I'm going to be answering questions about, of course, my faith, my walk with the Lord, how I study, dating as a Christian woman. You guys ask great questions about my career path, what I do professionally, my content creation journey, some personal questions about just budgeting, my workout routine. So I picked about 20 questions around all of those topics that I'm going to answer. So the Q&A will probably be up after this vlog. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button because you're not gonna wanna miss out on this amazing content. Now that me and my girl are working together and I can get these videos out for y'all. So let's do a little makeup girl therapy and I will chat with you guys when we finish the overall look. See you in a little bit. y'all enjoyed that very quick montage out makeup tutorial well let me not lie to y'all that wasn't a makeup tutorial but a demonstration of this very simple face of mine this is my only makeup routine this is all I know how to do I can't do nothing different I can't do anything fancier so I'm trying to figure out for the Q&A like part of me just wants it to be kind of cozy I think I have a mocktail in the kitchen that I can whip up and just sit on the couch and chat with y'all like comfy style with my makeup done so I feel like that's probably what we're going to do and then once I'm finished filming the Q&A then we're gonna come back pick out an outfit to wear to Phil and Derek's tonight I think I got something in mind I got a little razzle dazzle in mind so we're probably gonna do that it's a gloomy day in Houston so the lighting isn't exactly how I would like it to be but I have realized if I'm going to film the podcast the way that I think I am also FYI Lighting, camera, sound, mic, everything for the podcast is also about to be tested for this Q&A. I want to see kind of how everything sounds and how everything's going to go before I try to film the first couple of episodes. 
So um, multiple reasons uh, for tonight's film setup or today's film setup rather. But yeah, it's kind of gloomy. It's actually raining y'all. It just started raining. I just looked outside. But that's okay. I already have the questions typed out on my laptop. I'm going to switch out my memory card to another memory card so I don't get those files mixed up with these files for the vlog. And then we're going to get started. So I'm probably going to pop back on before I start filming the Q&A. Oh, actually, no, I'm not because I'm having a different memory card. So I will pop back on with y'all after the Q&A is done and we are getting dressed to head out for the night. So I will see y'all in just a second. Hey you guys, we are back at it with the vlog. Okay, we just wrapped up the Q&A. As y'all can see in the background, it's a bit of a mess back there. Um, y'all, this weather is terrible, okay? I'm not gonna say, I don't know how the video is gonna come out, honestly. I'm definitely going to send it to my girl and see what she can do, but the lighting just, it wasn't doing what it needed to do. So I definitely need to figure out something with the lighting setup. I do think syncing the audio is going to be really challenging because like my camera battery was dying, things were just happening. So I don't want it to be like super difficult to sync the audio from the podcast mic to my camera. So I'm not 100% sure y'all, but that video will go up and we will see how that goes. But I just gotta show y'all this weather because I cannot believe this. Like, okay, well, this ain't doing much justice y'all and ignore the fact that none of my patio furniture is covered maybe if i open the door oh my goodness oh it's just it's mm -mm, mm -mm. it's just wet and gross outside you guys but i talked to my mom already first of all and it's she lives like 30 minutes away from me and she was just saying that the weather is like really really bad where she is her reservation is at 7 30 and i think it's like five hey siri what time is it 5 49 p.m right now y'all so she was saying that we've been gonna push the reservation back or change up the plans because the weather is so gross but i know that whatever we decide to do we're probably gonna get back a little bit late and i want to make sure that because tomorrow's party day my makeup appointment is at 11 a.m i have to go pick up my grandma to get her to my apartment a lot of people are going to be in my apartment tomorrow so i want to like surface clean tonight so i can just like wipe down clean toilets and stuff tomorrow since i'm gonna have guests so i'm about to put the vlog camera down and i'll probably just pick out an outfit off camera and then pop in with you guys once we're fully dressed and of course take y'all with me as we go to spend the night but yeah i'm not too upset with how the q a went it was really good to sit down and talk on the mic again and just like get myself out there it's not the perfect lighting it's not the perfect setup but i have to i have to stop like letting perfectionism stop me from getting things done. I think you guys are still really gonna enjoy the video. It's very much sitting on the couch with your homegirl just chatting it up. So I'm gonna continue to work on the video settings, the lighting settings, all of those things. But you guys know, so thank you for coming on this journey with me in three years when I'm filming in my personal podcast studio. We're gonna look at these videos and we're gonna be like, girl, remember when you was filming on your couch with lamp light? But until that time comes, I'm filming on my couch with lamp light. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye. Okay. Yes, I still have on the same clothes. And I know what I said, y'all. But I forgot that my mom's welcome sign was delivered. And I wanted to unbox it with you guys. I just think it's so crazy. Like, even tonight, she has no idea that she is having a surprise party tomorrow. So I ordered from the Surreal Experience. I will put her information on the screen. I will also put it in the description box for you guys but i ordered a welcome sign and i also got an easel from amazon over there as well um to kind of just put to kind of personalize the party a little bit and then i also got a acrylic food menu made oh i love this be careful with me it has like a little sign acrylic is fragile so please handle it delicately Drink stirs are to be hand washed with warm water and soap. Okay, I didn't get that. So minimize finger plants. Please use gloves when handling the signage. Oh, maybe I don't need to touch this, y'all. I'm kind of nervous, but I want to see it. Oh, I love this. I love this, y'all. So here is her card right here. And then it says, Hey Liz, thank you so much for choosing this surreal experience. We hope that you love your custom items and we truly appreciate your support. I love this. Thank you so much, Chelsea. This is gonna be so great. I'm so excited. And she has this super cute like wrapping paper in there, y'all. If you need acrylic signage, make sure y'all check my girl out, okay? So this is our first item and it's in the box and it also has her logo on it. 
It's so nice, y'all. It's like wrapped so delicately. Where are the gloves? Hold on, because I'm already not following the instructions. Okay, well, this is what I really wanted to open right here. It's so nice. I'm like still kind of cutting it open with these things. Oh, I'm so grateful, y'all. Like, I've never thrown a party. I normally don't have parties because they are very expensive. Um, and honestly, I just have never really had the coin to do this. And so the fact that I'm able to do this for my mom's 50th is just like such a blessing. And shout out to my granny as well. Anyone who has contributed to this. I'm just so excited about the event, y'all. Ah! It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. It says, welcome to Rhonda's fabulous 50th. This is so freaking nice. And it's full with acrylic. Like, it's cut. And she sent me the design, y'all. So you design it yourself. And this is basically going to be on an easel at the front. Um, so when everyone walks in, they will see this. Ah, that is so nice. Okay, and then this is the food menu. So we do have a caterer coming to do the event. And I did have, um, or I did order a menu as well. So let's take a look at that. I'm like trying to be careful y'all, but I'm like a kid on Christmas. I'm just so excited about this freaking party. And it's not even for me, which is perfectly fine. That makes it even better. You know, when you're able to do something for somebody else, like this is 10 times more exciting because it's for my mom. So it says, happy birthday, menu, deviled eggs, garden salad, garlic bread, Cajun pasta, blackened chicken Alfredo, cheeseburger, egg rolls, and chicken wings in four flavors. And then she also gives me this little stand to put it on. This is so freaking nice. Ah! Okay, I just wanted to unbox that with you guys. Of course, y'all see more of the party details. I almost dropped this, y'all. Y'all see more of the party details tomorrow, but let me go put my clothes on for my mom and be like, I'm outside to pick you up and I'll not be ready. I'll be back. All right, y'all, it's 6.22 p.m. and your girl is dressed. Um, I just redid my lip, but I just remembered that earlier I had on a gloss and not a like matte lip, so I'm just gonna gloss that up just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's cute. Um, I don't know if you can see my, like what I have on right now, but I just have on like these black pants from Pretty Little Thing and like this cut out like bodysuit. So it's just a very like chic look that we're going with. Um, I already showed y'all my lip combo earlier when we were doing our makeup. We're gonna do the black opium that is in the red cherry scent. Love, love, love this, y'all. I got this in PR and talk about a PR kids, okay? So don't you worry, YSL Beauty. I will make sure, okay, that I share about this because it smells so good. This is like my favorite night scent. I feel like I'm gonna have to switch it up a little bit as we exit out of the like, honestly, no. Oh, this smells so good, y'all. It has like notes of like vanilla, cherry, coffee, Oh, it smells so good. I might put on a little bit more. I don't know. But anyways, I was saying I might have to switch it up because we're entering into the spring summer season. But I think honestly, I can still rock with it. I'm going to go ahead and do this Silver Heel from um, Steve Madden. I always love this when I don't have a lot of jewelry on. So I feel like it's just going to give my outfit a little bit of a pop. And then I haven't packed this up yet. But y'all seen me, of course, wear this bag before. It's my Gucci wallet on a chain. So just kind of staying in that same like silver vibe. So I'm going to pack this up and then put my shoes on and I can probably show y'all a full OOTD in the mirror. And then we're gonna head out to celebrate my mommy's 50th birthday. So I'm so excited. I know we weren't talking about this on the vlog. I was talking about this on the Q and A, but I thoroughly enjoy like my evening experiences. We're going to this place called Phil and Dairy to listen to live music and eat some food. So very much okay. And then the vibe of like what I like to do. Um, but then also just something about being sober, like. I can go out, have a good time. We come back and I'll pop up the next morning feeling good. Like none of that headache and hangover. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. So anyways, y'all, let me finish up my look. Put a little lotion on these fingers and these elbows because I did not have my elbows out earlier. And then um, I already told y'all. I'm going to show y'all the final look and we're going to go and head out. Be right back. 
Okay, y'all, so my mom is almost here, so I'm about to head down. I know I keep telling y'all I'm gonna pop back on when they get here and I leave. I literally, it hasn't been that long. I've just been waiting to go downstairs. But she just sent me this picture of her, y'all. Y'all, look at my mama. Like, 50 wear, girl. Like, you look good, okay? Y'all see them shoes that we picked up on the last vlog? But, okay, for real, I just wanted to show y'all that quick picture because she just looks so cute. Like, ugh, my heart, oh, my heart. Let me get downstairs before I get left. Okay, see y'all then, bye. What are we gonna do with her? I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. She been acting bad too. I know, baby. She put on that jumpsuit. I said, well, let, me look at, let me look at my little outfit that I got on. She be taking them shoulders out. She be giving them sexy pictures. She giving it to the people. It's the you know, season. I'm, I'm the photographer. It's the season of the show. Blogger, I yeah, know. I saw that pose. I said Melissa did that. Yeah, you know, no, I didn't. <laughs> she sent it to oh, me. Yeah. yeah. So you know, I'm I was like, her, act like you're doing I only something. Know how to pose. Yeah, it was. Oh funny. my gosh. Oh my god, y'all. Are we gonna make it for 7:30? Yeah, we only like we're gonna be there at 7:11, baby. Something to say, blew everybody away Wear whatever I want Dressed in a gown, everybody's like Why are you going nowhere special? Just going to the store I think I'd have it all, tell you why I'd be more Picking a plate, being a plate She is unruly Never seen her like this Didn't think it existed, no truly Don't get in her way, she's not in a place She'll get moved got a little morning voice going on here uh, good morning you guys today is Saturday March 16th and it's party day y'all today is a day of my mom's surprise birthday party um, woke up this morning made my coffee and did my morning prayer and devotional time 
um, which was much needed. I pushed my makeup appointment back to 12. And yes, I'm also getting my makeup done today. <laughs> so I pushed that back to 12 o'clock. Um, it's 10 14. I really need to start to like really clean up my space, make my bed, um, and start to get things a little bit organized for the day. But I wanted to pop in with you guys and debrief from last night. I was so tired when I got home, but we had a really good time at Phil and Derek's y'all. Like the live music was so good. And I got a little bit emotional like in the clip. I don't know how editing and things is gonna go, but we had a good time y'all. Like I have not seen my mom that happy in so long. Like everyone was complimenting her. Like she's a beautiful woman. Okay, I'm a little bit biased, but she just looks so happy and so vibrant. And like, honestly, even if tonight wasn't even happening the way that it was, I know she's already had the best birthday. And it really just makes me feel like my prayers for her are like being answered and when i get when i talk about my mama y'all i get so emotional so i'm trying to like hold myself together i know i'm probably going to cry today so um we will save that for later in the evening but i'm just i'm just so grateful i'm so grateful when i think about who i pray for the most outside of myself like specifically like down to the details my mama, like I'm just, I'm really in prayer for her right now, just the season of her life and just wanting her heart to be happy. Um, so yeah, I think it's gonna be a beautiful day. I'm really having a great weekend so far and it's gonna be a little bit busy today, but that's okay. We're about to get up, we're about to shower, um, probably put my hair just in a clip for now because I don't think I'm gonna style it until later today. So I have so much to set up for this party. And then I'm just gonna kind of bring you guys with me throughout the day. We'll kind of pop in and out here and there, but I am excited y'all. So yeah, last night was super fun. My devotional was really good this morning. Um, I've been talking about this. Anytime I share it, you guys are always like, what devotional is that? Um, and I've seen this around on a lot of like stories and things like that and I never picked it up but it is the 100 days of believing bigger devotional and I will have this link in the description box for you guys but this is a really powerful devotional like it's really really good like down to the journal prompts I remember I was telling you guys about like well no I'm sorry that was on the q and A. I'm getting confused but I was talking about the difference between reading the bible and studying the bible and day before yesterday in this devotional it inspired me to study the topic of spiritual gifts and so um it has like these journal prompts on the side I'll go to a page that is um empty but like this is day 27 so you have like the devotional on this side of the book and it'll have like a title, a scripture, the actual devotional section and a prayer at the bottom. And then the prompt, I'm sorry, the prayer is on this side. And then the prompt is over here for you to journal. And like, for example, this one says, how is your personality a clue to what God designed you to do? So it's just very reflective and a great way to spend time with the Lord in the morning. I still do my verse of the day and my daily refresh on the YouVerse Bible app. So I still do that as well and just kind of pray in between, worship in between, like all of those things. That's pretty much my like morning time with him. That's what that routine pretty much looks like. So typically what I do for you guys, as far as content, I'll set this space up with y'all. And then like once I'm actually getting into the word, I go ahead and cut, cut the clip so I can focus on being um, in the presence of the Lord. So we've had that time. It's 10, 18. I have about an hour really to shower, straighten up a little bit and get my life together. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. And I will pop in with you guys when we're heading to the car and going to a makeup appointment because that's the first thing that we have to do. And then after that, we're going to go pick up my grandma. But one thing at a time, y'all. So yeah, let's get into Saturday of this weekend vlog. Talk to you soon. All right, you guys, we are heading out to our makeup appointment. It's about 11.45. I'm wearing my favorite shoes from Adidas. These are linked in my LTK. And then I have on this three-piece set from Fancy Homebody. I love that the shirt is just really oversized so that I can wear the leggings out and still stay covered. And then it comes with like a tank top that's underneath. Um, I'm a little hot, so I'm probably gonna wear the tank top once I get to my makeup appointment. I still have on, y'all, y'all see how Zoe be watching me? I still have on the Gucci wallet on a chain from last night and then my Simple Modern water bottle. And we are getting ready to head on out, y'all, to go see Susie. Um, I wanted to just pop in with y'all, give y'all an update, but let's go get our makeup done. Ain't no need for 
stressing in my life But I know I'm protected by the blood Protected by the love God, every time I turn around You keep blessing me, blessing me with our makeup this is our final look of course my girl did her thing as always we've been in here chopping it up so i got a little bit of bts in y'all um for y'all and a little bit of montage but we are at 151 so it is time to run to the store go get my grandma pick up a last uh, a couple last minute items and then i want to find my mom some flowers so i'm gonna try to go and pick those up as well and she actually has her makeup appointment in an hour. So I'm going to jet out of here so she does not see me. Because she be getting this up early, y'all. She be like, I'm here. It'd be 2.40. So I'll let me get moving so she does not catch me. And I will probably chat with y'all in a little bit. Hey, y'all. So I am in my old stomping grounds in East Houston. Um, in my mom's neighborhood. About to pick up my granny. It's 2.16 p.m. So I made a little... I feel like my hair is kind of sticking up. I still have to go home and do my hair, y'all. But I made a little list of some of the like things that i need so so far what i have i'm so nervous y'all i never throw events and i just feel like there's so many details like i definitely understand the profession of party and event planning because like if you don't have one thing like if you don't have spoons to serve the food if you don't have warmers if you don't have scissors like there's just so many details to pay attention to but all i need is if they have a nice fruit tray here i'm gonna get a fruit tray i need some extra napkins because i got those super cute napkins that say um cheers to 50 years but i need like other napkins for people to have and use i need a bag of ice and then hopefully i can get her some flowers i want to get like 24 roses so two dozen long stem roses and i want them wrapped in paper i don't even know if they do that here because i'm at a kroger so i just call my best friend i'm waiting for her to call me back because i might need her to go to um h-e-b which is a store out here in texas to get that for me so let's go in and get this y'all and hopefully we find everything that we need when i tell y'all this has been the most chaotic hour and 20 minutes of my life so i didn't find anything at that kroger's that we went to um i ended up getting my granny going to heb my hair is in a clip because i'm just now about to try to throw some curls in my hair it's 4 45 the, the parking starts in an hour and 15 minutes i'm out of breath um i left y'all in the car so while all of the craziness was going on I haven't even been able to tell y'all and vlog because I have my camera. So we're about to go see the before. I want y'all to see the room. If you've seen my vlog of how I became a content creator in six months, you've seen this room before, but I'm about to go show y'all the room again while wow, we're still setting up. Y'all, my cousin's here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has been doing like the music and the slide show, all the things. So I'm gonna put his Instagram on the screen. Y'all go check him out because he's very talented and I'm just so proud of him. Yes, so sir. we are walking to the room now. Um, Cassie's here, she's doing the balloons. Any of the vendors or anything that did the event, I will be sure to like tag them as well. But y'all, another dilemma is that someone had a party in here before me and they haven't picked up this big pink Barbie thing yet. So if this is not out in the next 15 minutes, I'm going to be moving it to the back somewhere to kind of get it out of the way. My nanny's here. Say hey, hey. nanny. We need to get this Barbie stuff out of here now. Listen, okay? Y'all heard nanny. We need to get it out of here now, okay? We got some non-alcoholic for those of us who don't drink. So this is the BTS, y'all. Getting the room set up. The champagne wall's back there. This is all the vlogging I can do right now, y'all. I gotta go curl my hair. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Don't get in the way, she's not in a place. She'll get moody. But don't mistake this girl for being me. Cause these are dream rules. This is someone else I'm not myself, no.
p.m. The surprise party is over. It was such a huge success. I'm exhausted. Mom, I hope you had a great birthday. I love you so much. I'm so happy that we got to celebrate you tonight. Um, love you, Mom. Y'all, I'm exhausted, okay? Your girl is tired. I think my mom had a great time tonight. I'm so grateful. Grateful to my family and friends who came to help celebrate her, who helped pull this event together. Like, literally, it takes a village, but it was absolutely worth it. I am exhausted. So I don't know how much more recapping we're gonna be able to do. I think my footage was all over the place, but hopefully we were able to get a decent montage for you guys, a couple snippets of the speeches and all that good stuff. I think I had my camera on her and I was like cracking down crying the moment I started to do my speech. Cause anytime I think about how much I love my mom and everything that she's done for me, I just get so emotional to the point where I can barely even talk. So I'm pretty sure if you guys hear any of that, like the moment I open my mouth to start to speak about her, like the tears started coming. And she was doing the like, cut the show, I'm done. That like me, <laughs> she's so funny. So um, anyways, guys, we had a good night. My apartment is not dirty, but there's like stuff everywhere from us ripping and running in and out from the party. So I'm about to straighten up. Um, I really want to go to church in the morning, but I am literally exhausted. So I'm probably going to end up streaming the 8 a.m. service from bed. Uh, we're going to go and meet Alicia for brunch tomorrow. I might not even wear makeup for that, y'all. Like, I'm so tired. <laughs> but let me just get off this camera, you guys. Um, I'm thinking right now, I'm like, is my vlog long enough? Because I really did not vlog much today. Like, I don't know why I thought I was going to be able to vlog more but it was just so busy so crazy did i even show you guys my outfit i'm wearing like this cute black fringe dress with like some black stockings i ain't even show y'all my outfit anyway y'all my poor baby zoe she was like so overwhelmed with all this in and out that was going on but let me stop talking let me get to cleaning up getting this makeup off my face taking me a nice hot shower and hopefully getting in the bed in the next hour so i will see y'all tomorrow morning for Sunday. Good night.
morning, you guys, and happy Sunday. Today is Sunday, March 17th, and um, we just finished streaming church. It was really, really good. I feel rested. I enjoyed it. I got my coffee, have my Bible, everything in the bed. I think I montaged that out for you guys. Um, so that's kind of how we started our morning. We are going to brunch with Alicia at 11. It's probably about like 9 a.m. And I'm about to walk Zoe right now, so I just threw something on so that I could take her outside. I still got a little bit of eyeliner <laughs> underneath my eye because um, I was like scrubbing last night, but I was so tired, y'all. So I'm going to come back in and just do a good skincare routine, and then we're going to head out. Um, I don't know how much longer I'm going to vlog today. I'm definitely going to take you guys with me to brunch, and then... I'm gonna be doing a little bit of Sunday reset. So I'm trying to figure out, do I wanna include that in this or do I wanna just, I don't know. If I start doing all that grocery haul and stuff like that, this is start, gonna start to get really long. But anyways, y'all, it's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. Um, I've been getting some text messages from family this morning just talking about last night. My mom was raving about last night to all her friends. Uh, they stayed at a hotel like nearby a lot of like family and stuff because my family some of my family lives in Beaumont some of them live in Liberty if you're not from Texas you're not going to recognize any of these cities but if you are then you'll know that those aren't really close to Houston um so yeah some of my family members stayed out here last night uh, which was great but overall I'm in a great mood like the word blessed me this morning we were in numbers and the sermon was called it's too late I've already been blessed and it was a really good story, so I'm going to go back and reread that because I'm actually still in Leviticus on my Bible study plan, but Numbers is next, and I'm, I'm ready to get to that. When I hear a good story in the Bible, I'm like, ooh, like I'm ready to dive into that. So it was really good. It just talked about how even if your enemies try to curse you when the Lord has already spoken blessings over your life, there's absolutely nothing that they can do. And I love messages like that. And I love scripture that reminds us that God is in control. We're not in control. No one else is in control. God is sovereign. He is in control. And if he does not speak it, it won't be done. So anyone can try and speak curses over your life. They can try to curse you, all of those things. But if the Lord has not cursed you, if the Lord has said that you are blessed, then you are blessed, okay? So I will link that sermon um, in the description box for you all so that y'all can watch it. But yeah, it was really great. Zoe's looking at me, y'all, because she's ready to go on her walk. You ready to go outside? Yeah? She is so ready to walk, y'all. I look a complete mess, y'all. I have on these yellow sweatpants. <laughs> I know y'all probably like, girl, I ain't never seen you in no yellow before. But I actually got these from a brand that I've partnered with a couple times. They sent like a sweatsuit and they're just so comfortable. I just have on this gray tank top and a little hat. This is literally, when I walk her, I don't be looking a mess a mess, but I don't mind like going outside like this. We're about to get her walked and I'm gonna get her leash and then I'll probably pop back in with you guys when we are a little bit more gathered and ready for brunch. Um, and then we're gonna go see Alicia. So I'll be back in just a little bit. Hello, beautiful people. I am back. It's 10.32, just a little bit later. Um, we're about to do some finishing touches so that we can get ready to go. I did do my hair and my skincare offline because after the makeup yesterday, I did my skin good last night, but not the way it needed to. So I did decide that I'm not going to put on makeup today because um, she had gone through a lot. I don't know. She just needs a break. So we're not going to do makeup today, but I am going to go ahead and do my um, hydrating body. It's like a cream from Origins. And when I tell y'all, this one smells so good. Every time I put this cream on, you can see like I be in there, okay, using this. So I'm about to just kind of lotion myself down a little bit. Um, I ended up putting on this like green top. I'll show you my outfit in a minute. But I ended up putting on this like green top with some jean shorts. This top is actually from a matching set. It has some pants that go with it. But the sun is out and it's a pretty nice day today. So I decided that I didn't want to put the pants on. I'm going to go ahead and put my little legs out <laughs> um, today. So I'm just putting some of this on because my skin is just dry all over. I'm really going to be focusing on hydrating today, you guys, because I did not drink um, a lot of water Saturday or Friday when I'm busy or just kind of moving around a lot I don't tend to hydrate and I feel it. I feel it in my skin like not just on my face like my body um, My lips I can just feel when I'm dehydrated. So we're definitely gonna be focusing on hydrating today 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and mix metals today. So I'm gonna go with these gold earrings just to add a little bit of a pop at the top. And then I'm gonna put on my David Yearman. I love that one because it has like silver and gold. I got that bracelet. If you watch my vlogs um, for a while, you know I got that bracelet when we hit 10K on Instagram, which might have been, has it been a year? I don't know how long it's been, y'all can't keep up no more. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna throw this on. I have a silver necklace that I think I'm gonna go and grab to put on as well with this. She's on, so that's super cute. Then for our scent, we're going in with Victor and Roth flower bomb this is such a fresh scent i love 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 this i really like i don't have a super huge perfume collection but i've gotten to the point where i have options now and i really do like that because i can kind of pick like you know what's the vibes like i want to feel very airy springy fresh today um so i'm gonna go with this fragrance then for my shoes you guys i'm going to put on these shoes that i got for my bali trip in september from pretty little thing it's just like a little wooden sandal and when i show y'all my full outfit everything will kind of start to make sense but we're gonna slide those on don't want to put on a heel today gonna be super comfortable one thing about me and alicia i'm pretty sure we're gonna be on the same vibe because it's a sunday we're getting together to have some girl time um and then i'm gonna go ahead and put on these shades today as well i'm about to take them off i just want to kind of show y'all so yes she is ready to go and get something to eat. The reservation is in 20 minutes and it's about 15 minutes from me. And it's kind of far. I can't see y'all. Um, it's kind of far, so I really do need to get going. The only thing I don't really have is a purse, but I'm probably just gonna put my Gucci wallet on a chain on like I've been doing. So let me grab my purse and show y'all kind of the full look. And we're gonna get ready to head on out. Be right back. All right, you guys, so here is our look. Again, we have like this oversized green top on. I think this top, the full set is linked in my LTK. Um, and then I have on like these long shorts. I believe these are from Zara. I got these a little while ago. And then the little sandals that I was telling you guys about. These are super comfortable and they're cute. Um, the shades are from Pretty Little Thing as well. And then this purse I've been wearing all weekend. It's my Gucci wallet on a chain. So we are dressed guys. We're getting ready to head out to brunch because I'm actually very hungry. So <laughs> I'm about to get there and then I'm sure Alicia will not be too far behind me. So let's go enjoy a nice little Sunday brunch before we come home to get a little bit of rest. Let's roll. Today is Monday, March 18th, um, way after those little brunch clips that I just showed y'all because Alicia and I sat down for brunch y'all and we had so much to catch up on that I couldn't even like vlog or run the camera while we were talking because we'd be getting down into the nitty gritty. So I didn't get that much footage at brunch, but I did want to get on here and just close out the vlog with you guys. Thank you all so much for watching another vlog with me. I pretty much just ended up coming home, laying down, doing like some Sunday reset stuff, but I really wanted to rest a little bit and kind of be off camera for a while. I had to go to the office this morning, so I've been at work all day. It's about 5.15 p.m. Um, Zoe's right here. She's ready to go on her walk, and then I'm going to meet Jordan for our Monday 6 p.m. coffee shop date. Um, and this is some of like, my, that is like one of my most productive meetings because we're only gonna meet from like 6 to 8 p.m. I'm probably gonna work until about 10 p.m. tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my girl the footage so we can get started with editing this vlog, editing the Q&A, seeing how that came out for you guys. Um, and then kind of getting into the rest of our week. I don't think I'm gonna vlog this week because I genuinely just have absolutely nothing to show you guys. Uh, but I do wanna focus on getting some direct to camera talking content out. This is the lighting that I'm looking for when I'm like video podcasting. So I'm really just trying to figure out like what's a good time for me to do this. What's a good day for me to just sit down, prop the camera up, sit on the couch real cozy with you guys 
and do a little bit of video podcasting. So I'm gonna talk to my girl about that this week. But yeah, just gonna be behind the scenes, working on more content for y'all. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and TikTok. I have the same handle, at true to list. So make sure you guys are following me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Until the next time we talk, I pray the Lord bless you, keep you. I pray his favor upon you. And I just pray blessings over you guys and your family. I love y'all so much and I will talk to you soon. Bye.